Welcome again everybody to a new video uh, in which uh, we will discuss the appearance of different uh, restorative materials uh, in the radiograph and in this bite-wing radiograph of the premolar molar region we will see that there are three types uh, or three teeth which are filled the lower seven has a class one filling uh, this radio opacity is for the uh, amalgam filling uh, uh, because it's uh, the whitest or the most radio opaque uh, filling material plus uh, gold and metal uh, and uh, metal cores uh, or metal uh, crowns of teeth just underneath the filling you will see another material that uh, lines the pulpal floor of the filling and uh, uh, the radio opacity of this filling is less than that of amalgam and as we knew or discussed in the previous radiographs this is the appearance of the zinc phosphate cement uh, uh, which is used as a liner usually used as a liner under uh, uh, the amalgam fillings. If we look at the lower six, we will find this circular filling. It is uh, a class five uh, filling that is placed mostly on the buccal surface of the lower six. Uh, could be uh, to, uh, to to treat uh, uh, cemental caries because if you look. Uh, this is the level of the crown. This is the CEJ. If you are draw line, uh, draw a line here. This is the CEJ to the CGA from the mesial to the distal. Now this area from the from the CEJ downwards. This is the level of the alveolar crest. So this area of the root is exposed. It has no uh, bone coverage due to chronic periodontitis or uh, horizontal bone. Uh, recession uh, uh, due to periodontitis which increases the incidence of uh, cemental caries. To treat this usually a uh, class 5 or, uh, uh, or a, 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 a cavity is prepared and filled with composite. Sometimes it is filled with amalgam depends on the situation and the depth. Another filling here, which is a composite that has, of course, it's a poor filling as you can see, it's broken over, uh, over here. There is uh, evidence of uh, recurrent caries, poor margins, but we are, what we are interested in is the composite filling on the crown. It's a big filling and uh, 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 there, there is uh, uh, evidence of uh, tooth uh, decay underneath the filling. So, in this bite wing radiograph, we will have com we are having composite filling, another composite filling, different place. This is on the crown. This is on the cementum and the class one amalgam filling, which is uh, present naturally over the crown of the or on the crown of the tooth. In this radiograph. Uh, we have composite fillings, a bite wing radiograph. We have two fillings, two separate fillings uh, in the upper six. This is one over here and this is the other one. Okay, and we have another class two filling. These are uh, occlusal uh, cavities filled separately due to the marginal ridge which is present in between. B maybe the dentist try to save it so that uh, they usually do two separate uh, composite fillings and here we have another uh, composite filling the composite filling is a, a occluso mesial or uh, MO uh, cavity where you can see that the thin uh, layer of composite it is extending uh, uh, here uh, deep uh, on the mesial uh, uh, part of the uh, crown and it is there is a class 2 cavity which has a poor margin and there is uh, <coughs> uh, recurrent caries underneath. All this is a composite filling. So just to show the difference between uh, or that we know the appearance of composite fillings. 
This is another radiograph in which there is also cement, uh, class 5 caries, a smooth surface uh, 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 cavity, which is uh, also seen on the root of this lower four. Again, just like in the previous tooth in the upper six, this is the level of the crown, and all this is exposed root, which again increases the uh, uh, possibility of root caries and to treat this usually the dentist would go for an amalgam filling as you can see the uh, amalgam filling uh, which is com if you compare it back to the other one which is composite you will see the difference in between the two this is another cavity uh, uh, just like this one because of the exposure I mean root caries or cemental caries just like uh, the uh, other tooth over here. This tooth is crowned with a metal crown. Of course it's a poor quality crown evidenced by the margins and the uh, caries underneath. Uh, in the metal crowns you cannot see underneath under the crown. The radio opacity uh, you cannot see the status of the of the crown underneath uh, the the crown because the radio opacity of the of the uh, restoration blocks the X-ray and completely covers the underlying uh, dentine and enamel if present. But what we can see is that the if there is any caries that is from underneath the margin when the crown of the of the crown, and this is where the tendency of caries increases in the uh, margins. So this is a full metal crown and this is an amalgam filling that is used to treat uh, uh, cemental caries in the uh, uh, lower, uh, in the, in the, in the uh, periodontically involved uh, tooth. In this radiograph, periapical of the central lateral canine and of course this is overlapping premolars you can see that the teeth uh, of course there is extensive caries of the uh, all these teeth so we have a composite filling filling class 3 over here you can see that still the incisal tip is not involved another class 3 over here uh, poor contact uh, uh, recurrent caries and underneath, see this is composite, this is composite over here and this is composite. On the pulpal floor of the axial wall of the cavity that we can see another material of a lesser radio opacity compared to the composite filling. And this is uh, the liner, uh, uh, usual, uh, uh, the, the radio opacity notably here is not as uh, 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 radio opaque as that of dical. So most likely this is a uh, zinc phosphate cement that has been placed under the uh, filling. Of course you know we cannot uh, uh, use the uh, um, uh, zinc oxide eugenol in combination with composite. Uh, 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 so uh, the dentist would go either for dical or for zinc phosphate cement and in this case zinc phosphate cement has been used unlike the other filling over here which apparently there is no filling uh, there is no liner or subliner that has been used uh, 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 due to different reasons we cannot tell why but uh, we cannot see any trace of a liner in this tooth of course you can see the caries all over the uh, remaining teeth 